Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. I'm Angie and this is Our Contented Home. In today's video, I'm sharing another DIY. I have been DIYing the whole month of February and if you follow me very long, you'll know that the whole month of January I thrifted and so this month I'm taking some of those thrifted items and doing a simple DIY and sharing it with you. So if you missed any of those videos, I'll put a link in the description box below where you can catch up on all of my content and all of my thrifting adventures and my DIY adventures. So today I'm sharing an easy and fun DIY about art. I recently found these art pieces at a thrift store. They were a dollar each and I love the frames and I love the matting, but I wasn't really fond of the art inside of it. And so one tip that I can share with you when you're out thrifting is if you love the frames, you love the matting, but you don't really care for the art, you can always change that out. So it's a really good way to get art for your house at a really good price. So today I'm going to share one of my favorite tips of getting art for my house on a budget. So y'all enjoy! These are the prints that I'm working with. I don't love the prints, but I love those navy blue mats. And so I'm gonna change out my prints, make it look a little bit better with my house. So what I start doing with the picture is I tear the whole backing off of the back. Now, if you wanna keep this part intact, you can take an X-Acto knife and just cut it on three sides and then just fold that paper backing back and when you finish putting your new print in, you can just fold the paper back and hot glue it in place. I wasn't really concerned about keeping that, so I'm just tearing everything off the back. And I just keep peeling it off, and then the next step is to get all the staples pulled up so that I can remove that cardboard backing. Now I started out with scissors, but I ended up using a flathead screwdriver and you want to be careful with this part. First of all, the sharp edges of the screwdriver. And you don't want to break your staples because that's what keeps your prints in the frame securely. So make sure that they're up, but don't break them. And I ended up taking this wire off because the orientation wasn't right for my picture. If it had been right, I would have left it. But I just ended up taking that all off and then I was able to get to the staples a little bit better to remove them. Once I get that cardboard backing out, I did clean the glass but I didn't get a video of doing that, but you want to make sure your glass is clean. And then I measured the opening of my mat to see how big my print could be. I ordered some prints off of Etsy and I had them printed at the Office Depot. They do a really good job. And these are the prints that I had printed. And I'll put a link in the description box of the small shop that I got these from. But I just love how these look. And Office Depot did a really great job printing them bigger than what my home printer could print them. So then I just tape them into my matting. And first of all, I took the old print out. And these were taped in pretty good and so you just be as careful as you can be because you don't want to rip your mat and you might want to keep these prints for something else I didn't want to throw them away because I may use them but then I just take my new print and I line it up inside my mat and you just have to just play with this a little bit it's a little bit of trial and error and you just line it up inside your mat. You have to flip it over and check it out and move it. Check it out, move it some more. Just get it lined up in there as good as you possibly can. And then once you get it where you want it, flip it back over and then you just tape it. I just taped it with regular scotch tape. You could do masking tape or just whatever you have on hand. And so I just went all the, way, all the way around it, taping it really well to keep it in place. And then when you finish, you can put it all back in your frame and hang it. Now I'm going to start on the second one. 
and I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with the first one. This is the only before picture I have of the space I'm working on. I got this off of my Instagram account, but it gives you an idea of the space that I'm working with. My husband was kind enough to hang the pictures for me. He just measured and hung them up. And I had ordered a picture light for this space because I wanted it to go over the pictures. And I didn't think it was going to get here in time because it was delayed, but it came in Saturday afternoon. And I was a little bit nervous because I didn't know if I was going to like the gold color, but it's perfect. I love the gold and this picture light is battery powered. It has a remote with it and so there's no hard wiring involved at all. It's just so convenient and it's really beautiful. I'll link it below in case you're interested. It runs on three AA batteries. You just pop them in and then pop the plate on. And my husband said it was pretty easy to hang. It comes with a template, and then you just put the base on the wall. It just hooks right on it. So when it needs batteries changed, you just pop it off, change them, and put it back up. And then he just put my pictures back up on the wall. And then I just gave everything a good cleaning. We have paneling in our room, and it really needs to be cleaned with Murphy's Oil Soap. And so I just poured a few capfuls in some warm water and gave it a cleaning. Now it's time to decorate. I just put this bench that my husband made right here on the wall. And then these baskets I got from Michael's a couple years ago. I just added them under the bench. And then I just put a really nice blue pillow on the top of my bench. And then just topped it off with a throw that I just put in the basket. And then I always have room for my pothos. I have a video showing you how I propagate these. If you're interested, I'll link it below. And then I just think it finishes off the whole space. Let me know in the comments if you love how it turned out and if you plan on DIYing some of your thrifted art into something beautiful for your home, I would love to know. I hope that video inspired you to go out to your thrift store, find some art and change it up and add it to your house and decorate on a budget. You can find really good things at the thrift store and you can have a beautiful home on a budget. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, Our Contented Home. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.